The International Day of Democracy, also known as World Democracy Day, is observed every 15th of September to highlight the importance of community participation and the functioning of a democracy. It was established through a resolution passed by the United Nations General Assembly in 2007. And to commemorate this event, the European Union has launched a 39 million euro program to support democratic governance in Nigeria. This launch is the second phase of efforts to ensure transparent, inclusive and credible elections in Nigeria. Moyo Thomas has details. Nigeria's democracy has continued to receive support from the international community and organizations to ensure it remains strong. This is due to global consensus that it is crucial to ensuring the sustainability of democracy in West Africa and the continent at large. No doubt, democracy could help deliver a more prosperous and resilient country where the needs of the people are addressed if adequately managed and harnessed. The EU says this is its reason for the continued support. This event is the close of the phase one of the EU SDGN and the launch of the phase two. Everyone has to do its part. INEC, but also political actors, civil society groups, media, citizens and voters, and security agencies, that we need to act with neutrality and professionalism to provide a safe and secure environment. The Commission received various support mainly in areas of training and capacity building for our staff, engagement with stakeholders, voter education and public enlargement, and the promotion of inclusivity. The effort of the phase two will concentrate on gaps noted in the report of the 2019 election monitoring and observation exercise by the EU, especially on the need for collaboration and the role of the media. These key institutions or elements uh, must complement uh, one another uh, so where the Electoral Commission has uh, legal challenges in terms of the framework, uh, you would require the National Assembly to legislate in a manner that will make it quite uh, easy uh, to, to ensure the neutrality you know, of such you know, um, a very critical institution in electoral management in Nigeria. The Electoral Act mandates the media, especially government-owned media, to give what it calls you know, equal opportunity uh, uh, for all the political parties to talk about their programs. And it's actually an offense when you don't do that. There's a sanction for that. And that sanction includes a possible fine of that station and even possible fine of the editors. So the EU ambassador says so far, the regional body has provided technical support to key electoral institutions to the tune of over 150 million euros since 1999 to date. Muya Thomas. TVC News, Abuja.